on that bike. Okay. <clears throat> I'm Jay Farner from Quicken Loans. The rate today on a 30-year fixed rate mortgage is 3.875%, APR 4.05%. But choosing the right mortgage lender means choosing much more than just a rate. Let me ask you, does calling the company with the best client service in America with 11 J.D. Power Awards to prove it matter? Does calling the company that invented Rocket Mortgage, the industry's most innovative, client-focused technology, matter? Does calling the company with 17,000-plus team members We'll find out. America's uh -huh. number one online lender. Call Quicken Loans today at 800 Quicken or go to rocketmortgage.com for the best mortgage experience on earth. That's 800. I just want you to just play. Decide what you're going to play first. And I'm just going to we'll start with that and let's play. Okay. Okay, welcome back. Uh, Brian Pierce of the Midday here, WMAY. At 10.09. All right, Ed, hit it. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Call this Springfield business first today because Ed Clark is a business. Morning, Brian. Ed Clark is a business. We go way back. We go way back. Anytime you see, oh man, how many functions do you do a year? Oh. Piano gigs. Oh, probably a few hundred. Yeah, it's really, it's, it's that. Yeah. I mean, it's hundreds. Mm -hmm. And your schedule, I guess it's hard to find an open date, huh? When, <laughs> <laughs> you can start coming and going like the donut man. Time to make the donuts. I already made the donuts. You know, literally, any time you're in this town and you see a guy playing the piano, there's live piano music. It's dead. I mean, right? I mean, aren't the odds? Who was the other gal? It was you or the other gal? Jane Hartman. It was you or Jean Hartman. And Jane Hartman. And she still plays. And, 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 but you do more gigs than she does, though. You're right? Yeah, she teaches at the college and she still does some. Okay. And she plays at church. And All right, well, let's talk about that. Let's talk about Ed. Clark, the business. Uh, you you got to have some great stories about some of the crazier places that you've played. Yes. Um, <laughs> well, I do photography and I do music. Well, I'm going well. to circle back to the. I'm going to circle back to the photography. Is that your first love, photography or music? Um, I'd say music, but, okay. but photography is what I've been doing the longest. Then, then we'll do that in that in that order. We'll talk about the music first. Um, I found myself doing broadcasts from really, really weird places. You know, certainly you have found yourself playing music in really weird places. Um, 
seems like that's the thing. Maybe, maybe not weird, but certainly different off the beaten path. Yeah, playing anything from out out in the country where you had to run a, a generator and then run a cord, you know, 100 feet so they couldn't hear the generator and you're stuck out in the middle of the woods. Uh, playing for a, a private party or a wedding where they wanted to be married way out How about playing to almost nobody? Oh, that's happened many times. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're playing and there's like, there's no, no big deal. Yeah, it was just not even business at the particular uh, restaurant or club or maybe it was on the, I've been on the, the, the cruise ship before. Yeah. And uh, people are just not there yet. Um, I love it. I love it. Um, and you're, you're in the phone book. What's the company? Uh, it's Ed Clark Music Services. Ed Clark Music Services. Okay. And then I have a jazz trio and a quartet and a quintet. Okay. okay. Well, let's, let me back, yeah. back up. Fill me in on all of this. Okay. Well, it just depends on the venue. I have a, uh, an upright bass player and a drummer. That's the... Uh, standard trio yeah and we play a lot of events around town for that for corporate functions and private parties and country clubs restaurants all around um, a lot of repeat business um, play for a lot of clients uh, that i've done photography for and then also uh, i play for a couple dance uh, clubs around town so when they go and do the the waltz and the cha-cha and the uh, all the various tango all the different uh, dance music you know that kind of stuff um, and then I have a saxophone player that joins us with that one, and that's the quartet. And then if they need additional, we just keep adding music till we have a small combo. So uh, it's really great fun because we play a variety of music from swing to jazz to, to pop. And, and, and you guys have all been playing together for years? Yes. And a lot of these guys are guys that have been playing in the Springfield area, so they're all great musicians, and we just come together and flow, and it's really a great time. Most of the time, I think when I've seen you play, though, it's just it's just you. Yeah, most of the time, I'd probably say seventy-five percent of the time, it's my solo piano playing, and uh, just play. It sometimes can be background music, and other times uh, people gather around the piano and they kind of sing along, or you know, so that you can still have conversation but enjoy the music. How long have you been playing? Yeah. I started when I was twenty-four. Oh my God. So I started kind of late. So you weren't the yeah, you weren't the. the and I wasn't the kid. child prodigy or anything, but really, I just I guess I had it inside and didn't realize it. And then well, how did how did this all happen? I mean, did, at well, that advanced age, did you go to a piano teacher with a bunch of eleven year olds? No, actually, when I was at church, um, the music at uh, where I went to church was just incredible, and I loved it. And I thought to myself, man, I'd sure love to learn how to play the piano. But you know, all the things they tell you that oh, it'll take you years to learn right. the left hand and coordinate the two together. So you kind of just dismiss it, and then. I just started watching, and I'm real. I'm more of an observant uh, person, and I would watch the piano player, and it just took off from there. I asked questions, sat down, and started fiddling with the piano. Tried to take lessons a couple times, and I got too frustrated because I really? developed my ear and began to play. I can read music, but not as much as playing by ear. And um, so you know, now that I think about it, you're right. I never see you with a piece of music. Mm -hmm. Never see. I don't think I've ever seen you with a piece of yeah. music. Yeah, we, I have music for certain things. If it's just a, kind of a lead sheet, we call it. Uh, there's another one called a fake book. It just has the chords and the melody lines in it. But as a rule, you know, over the years, I just know thousands of tunes. No thousands of yeah. just mm -hmm. just off the top, top of your head. head. Yeah. Fabulous. And do you uh, do you improvise and uh, play around? Or yes, uh, take the melody and play it through, and then maybe the next time, uh, change keys and modify it a little bit. This is a Springfield business. First up, Brian Pierce. This is. Ed Clark, uh, the Springfield a photographer and uh, pianist, and uh, you see Ed all over the place. Okay, let's shift for a moment into photography, because I, uh, you, while you'll admit that uh, music is your first love, photography, you are well known for your, uh, for your photography. You had me at your home years ago, and I was blown away with... Uh, with your studios and uh, what you were doing out there. Thank you. Yeah, I started Sherman, uh, right, in so Sherman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Had a studio in Springfield for many years, and now we've been in Sherman for 18. And um, started in high school loving photography and just messed with it. And then right after high school, I started doing a few uh, weddings. People would ask me, hey, would you do my wedding? Would you do my senior pictures? And it was just a hobby, really. But I loved doing it. And then uh, before you knew it, you bought more equipment, you did more things, and it was no longer a hobby but a business, and I like people. I love uh, doing the photography. I like doing variety of things like that. Photography is always unique because you can 
change things with lighting, posing, and every situation is different because you deal with people, different people every day. And I've always done a variety of photography from weddings to, to babies, to children and high school seniors. Family portraits are really my uh, favorite to do now. Um, and I have a, a beautiful studio in Sherman so we can accommodate large groups or we come on location and photograph at a park or at your home or at another facility and we just bring our own lighting with us and create the magic and have fun with it. I remember uh, several years ago you had you had really outfitted your outfitted your backyard almost like some sort of sound stage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you you still doing some of that? Yeah, they've actually um, coined it Clark Park. Yeah, in Sherman. Yeah, well, we built, well, tell, uh, us, tell us about it. Yeah, we built the uh, our our home and studio in Sherman, and then the lot right next to us uh, was was vacant, and I decided to purchase that and put tons of trees, and we have irrigation and electrical, so that we can have lights shining up on the trees and in the wintertime we have it decorated up really nice right now if you drive by you'll see it um, but it's nice because because we can do large family groups outside and we have kind of like a screen built up around with all the pine trees oak trees maple trees arborvitas um, so you really feel like you're in a, in a country setting so everything from like the real pretty frilly little areas for the girls that want to have the nice flowers to the more rugged rustic looking uh, wood backgrounds. Yeah, we have a lot of different settings. So no need to go searching for some fabulous setting when you could just really just step out in the backyard. Yeah, just more to my place. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that is uh, really cool. How about, uh, obviously you have a website that shows your work. Yes, it's uh, edclarkphoto.com or edclarkphotography.com. Picture you the same place. And then for my music, it's all tied in as edclarkmusic.com. So we've got a wealth of information on there showing what we've done, what we do. Um, it's got price information, scheduling, um, stuff about our studio, our history. And, uh, Let's talk about, uh, uh, you know, the minute I'm talking to a photographer now, and the, the, the picture that I've seen most in social media right now is the screaming child on Santa's lap. Now, what would you do in that situation? Hmm. Well. You're so, I mean, I just, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I don't put you on the spot. You're there. You got the screen up to the kids. The kids not going to play along. What are you going to do? Well, every, every ch child's different, but I usually walk up to them and, and try to talk to them. A lot of times we have little props, yeah. things that will kind of distract them from, well, the situation you just, uh, said that's Santa that's putting them in a situation where they're just uncomfortable <laughs> that's the reason they're screaming so in other words in other words if it's gotten to the point where they're already screaming about Santa's lap you're yeah, too late you're probably there's stuff you should have done before yeah, you know that's a good miracle worker to do that I and, I, and I do I do well with kids but I don't know if I could uh, remedy that situation oh, but, but we do a great job with kids and you do a great job with pets yes we do lots do you remember years ago you were traveling someplace mm -hmm. and you uh, you called me out of the blue and you came by my house, and I was, I was living in Kansas, I yeah, believe, right? California. And I uh, my fellow photographer's wedding. You rolled through, came to the house, and uh, and took a bunch of pictures of my dog. <laughs> 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 that was so ad lib. Oh, it was and, great though. It and was great. and was so well posed, but you know the way. He oh was yeah, 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 yeah. We can't get him to pose like that. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's good. In the hands of a professional. That's right. Okay. And it had nice lighting and everything. I was pretty proud of that for just a little uh, candid and Love it. Session. Hey, I'm going to take a break. Play us in here. Play us in. Ed Clark, our uh, special guest. Let's bring you up this is to become an entrepreneur. 